Rentec here, where tech is made simple. So we have Firefox 128 now rolling out, which Mozilla pushed out a short while ago today on the 9th of July 2024. Now version 128 is quite a big update, and there's quite a lot going on. So to double check, we have this latest release. As always, we head to our main menu, Help, About Firefox. And the latest version in bold after the update has been applied is 128.0. Now there's quite a lot going on, so I'm just going to dive straight in. And the first new feature is that Firefox can now translate selections of text and hyperlinked text to other languages from the context menu. So Mozilla really giving the native translate feature quite a lot of attention recently in Firefox. So if I head to a foreign language um, web page and I highlight some of that text and I right click, yeah, you'll see translate selection two. And I click on that, and yeah, in the window, you can see the trans the selection of translated text. And you can change your from and to languages. You can copy that, and you can obviously translate a full page. And I think this is a nice addition. So some nice translate features starting to become available now in Mozilla Firefox. Now, the next new feature uh, is for users only in the United States and Canada. So I'm not in those regions, so I'm going to have to use a screenshot um to show you what this is all about. So if you are a user in the US and Canada, Firefox will now show you recent searches or currently trending searches. When you open the address bar to get you back, they say to the previous search session or inspire you for your next search. And although this could be handy, I certainly hope that Mozilla does give us an option because they don't mention this in the release notes, I certainly hope they are giving us an option to be able to turn off recent searches and trending on Google when it comes to the actual settings uh, for this feature. But nonetheless, that's rolling out now if you find yourself using Firefox in the United States and Canada. Now, the third new feature is that Firefox now has a simpler and more unified um, dialogue for clearing your user data. So for this one, we're going to head to our settings, head over to privacy and security, and now you'll see if we head to cookies and site data, clear data, they've updated this whole dialogue and this um, menu, and I think this is a nice move in the right direction. So in addition, Mozilla says to streamlining data categories, the new dialogue also provides insights into the site data size corresponding to the selected time range. And I actually think this is a nice little UI and um, little functionality improvement in version 128. And then moving on to the next new feature. And for this one, I'm just going to mention this one quickly. Firefox also now supports playback of protected content from streaming sites like Netflix while in private browsing mode. And the browser also now supports the experimental privacy preserving attribution API, which provides an alternative to user tracking for ad attribution. Now, if you don't know what attribution is all about, uh, just a quick overview. Basically, attribution is how advertisers learn whether their advertising works. So it also measures how many people saw an ad on a website and then later visited the advertiser's website to do something the advertiser cared about. So for an example, maybe someone sees an ad for a sale on a product, then buys that product, and then attribution counts how many people do that. So that's basically what attribution uh, is all about. And the experiment is only enabled via origin trial and can be disabled in the new website advertising preferences section in the privacy and security uh, setting so if we head back to the privacy and security page and we scroll down it's here near the bottom here we go website advertising preferences allow websites to perform privacy preserving ad measurement and this helps sites understand how their ads perform with without collecting data about you so obviously if you don't want that and you're a little bit concerned about privacy you can always toggle that off but that's also listed as a new feature and the next one i'm going to mention again because it's for mac os users where on mac os microphone capture through the get user media will now use system provided voice processing when applicable improving audio quality so a nice little audio quality improvement if you do find yourself using the browser on mac os and then Firefox is now available in the SKR language, and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. The abbreviation for that is SKR. So if you are in that region, that 
um, language is now available in the browser. Now, they have rolled out a fix where they have mentioned that Firefox now proxies DNS by default when using SOX v5, avoiding leaking DNS queries to the network when using SOX v5 proxies. So that's quite a mouthful, but that is a fix, and that's rolled out with version 128. And then there are two changes worth noting, where Firefox now supports rendering uh, more text file types inline rather than requiring them to be downloaded to be viewed. And then the root certificate used to verify add-ons and signed content has been renewed to avoid upcoming expiration. So those are the new features, the one fix, and the two changes. And there are various security fixes that have rolled out, but I've waited about an hour, uh, an hour or so uh, before posting this video after the browser update rolled out, and I still wasn't seeing the various security fixes, so maybe we'll have better luck this time. So if I head back to my help about Firefox and I click on what's new, and I've gone through all of the new features as mentioned, yeah, the various security fixes. Now, I hope they are there. No, they're not. So at this stage, I cannot provide you with what has been fixed security-wise. So for some reason, um, Mozilla hasn't updated the various security fixes they are talking about. But we do know there are security fixes because with every version upgrade, Mozilla does roll out security fixes and they say they have fixed various security fixes. Um, they have rolled those out. So um, what I'll do, if there's anything like major, like maybe a zero day or a critical, I'll leave that down below in the description once um, that does become available um, in the release notes. But nonetheless, um, just double check your browsers up to date because there are various security fixes rolling out, although I cannot pinpoint those at this stage. But just make sure your browser is up to date because um, it will be patched with whatever security issues have been addressed with version 128. So that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new in this latest release, Firefox 128, which rolled out a short while ago today on the 9th. And if you are interested in when version 129 will roll out, which will be our next release, that will roll out on the 6th of August uh, next month, 2024. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.